The race to pick Japan's new prime minister is officially underway. Four candidates have begun campaigning for leadership of the ruling LDP. That's after Yoshihira Suga's shock resignation. They've promised to restore trust in the ruling party by tackling income disparity, the pandemic and climate change. The general public in Japan is most concerned about what role politics may play in handling COVID-19. In response, candidates outlined their proposals. Taro Kono, the public's top favorite to succeed Yoshida Suga, proposed all patients who cannot be admitted to hospitals to wear wristwatch-type pulse oximeters and quickly disseminate subsidies to restaurants that abide by state of emergency measures through digitalized network. Sanae Takaichi promised to pass a law to control people's movement in the worst-case scenario of the pandemic or any other contingencies. Currently, a lockdown is not possible in Japan. Fumio Kishida wants to respond to concerns of the public by directly speaking to them. Seiko Noda is keen to put a spotlight on women, children, those with disabilities, and on the issue of poverty. For the candidates, the significance of this election campaign is not only about winning the party presidential post, but to regain public trust in the LDP. Yoshida Suga's public approval rating has been falling to the 30 percent level. It's due to what the public sees as a lack of its leadership in dealing with the pandemic. Nineteen prefectures, including Tokyo, are still in a state of emergency. Daily COVID-19 cases are falling. If the emergency stage is eased, can the public resume life as it was before the pandemic? What happens if there's a resurgence? These questions have not been answered. The candidates are laying out their own proposals. Whoever wins will not only be elected prime minister, but will also lead the party in the general election, which has to be held soon. Michio Ishida, CNA, Tokyo.